reading this title, you must be wondering what on earth SpaceX has done now in Florida that's remarkable because last you checked, the only unusual thing in Florida was your grandma getting a new husband at 81. Hello there and welcome back folks. Elon Musk has been insanely generous with flights this year, making us more and more convinced of him being the exotic alien ambassador. But look at what this guy has done in just a few years. He's been making life tougher for all the space agencies. But what exactly just happened on Wednesday in Florida? In a midweek spectacle, SpaceX's Falcon rocket lineup took a leap higher than the space shuttle missions from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. The dynamic duo of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rocket launches sailed past the total tally of shuttle flights from that historic pad. The Falcon 9 rocket by SpaceX has become a rock star in the space world, setting new standards and leaving us all wide-eyed with its latest antics. So what's the Buzz Aldrin about? Let's dive into today's episode of SpaceX, the Lisan Al Ghaib of Space Wars. Launching Falcon 9 rockets has become so routine that it's almost like ordering pizza, but let's not forget the sheer brilliance behind each successful launch. Recently, SpaceX marked a milestone that had Jaws dropping faster than a Falcon 9 boost back burn. On April 24th, they hit their 42nd launch of the year, leaving 2022's numbers in the space dust. That's an average of one launch every 2.7 days, making even the Energizer Bunny pause for applause. To put this into perspective, think back to the 80s and 90s when the total global launches were barely hitting triple digits. SpaceX is aiming for over 140 launches in 2024 alone. It's like they strapped a turbocharger to a rocket and said, hold my fuel tank. Now let's not discount Russia's Soyuz, the seasoned veteran in the space race with over 1,700 launches since 1966. It's like the old pro that won't retire but is contemplating a rocket makeover. Meanwhile, Falcon 9 is reviving its engines, eyeing that top spot in the 2030s, and SpaceX? Well, they're already sketching out their next masterpiece with the Starship. SpaceX's veteran rocket booster B-1083 has made headlines again. This trusty piece of spacefaring hardware has just completed its third successful mission. Not only did it previously propel the Crew-8 to the International Space Station and the Starlink 648 mission, but it also gracefully landed on the drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas, its 68th landing for ASOC, and SpaceX's 305th overall. The buzz doesn't stop there. Jared Isaacman, the commander of the upcoming Polaris Dawn mission, took to social media to share his excitement. His post sparked a wave of speculation that B-1083 might be the chosen booster for his next adventure with the Crew Dragon Resilient spacecraft. Meanwhile, the Crew Dragon Resilient is soaking up the Florida sun, gearing up for her historic moment, the first civilian spacewalk ever. Stu Keish, the Dragon program's VP, assures us that everything is on schedule for an early summer launch. And let's not forget the Starlink Constellation, which just got 23 new members, bringing the total number of satellites launched in 2024 to 702 across 31 missions. With 5,935 Starlink satellites currently orbiting Earth, SpaceX continues to weave an intricate network in the sky, aiming for seamless global connectivity. SpaceX's Falcon 9 has just pulled off another achievement too, clinching its second record by snagging the title for the 300th rocket booster. Elon Musk applauded his team for making this happen in such a short span. Now how many reusable rockets out there in the galaxy? Has anyone been as busy as SpaceX? Nope, not even close. SpaceX has been aiming to put humans in space, colonize Mars, and for those giant steps, the smaller but essential ones such as booster re-entries and landings have started proving to be successful. The historic first landing of a Falcon 9 booster happened back in 2015 during the Orcom 2 mission. Since then, SpaceX has aced around 85% of Falcon rocket landings, showing that they're the kings of rocket recycling. Over 90% of their missions now soar on previously flown boosters, proving that when it comes to space travel, reduce, reuse, and re-enter like a pro. This step in space travel was also highly essential to make space travel cheaper for humans. 
Imagine if every time you flew somewhere, the plane was tossed into the sea. Sounds pretty wasteful, right? Well, SpaceX has turned the table on space waste with their Falcon 9 rockets. They've stuck the landing 300 times, saving a whopping 27 Merlin inches from a watery grave. That's like keeping 15,000 tons of metal dry, the weight of about 100 houses or a small neighborhood of metal mansions. While other companies might find it tough to land a paper airplane on a desk, SpaceX is playing darts with rockets and hitting the bullseye for the 300th time. It's like winning an intergalactic game of hopscotch where the stakes are sky high. And just for some cosmic context, that's more launches than the entire lineup of operational rockets worldwide. Russia's Proton-M, 115 launches. The trusty American Atlas V, 99 liftoffs. China's Long March 2D, 89 launches. SpaceX isn't just leading the pack, they're orbiting it. And behind all this competition is just one simple answer, reusability. It not only makes travel cheaper, it makes it convenient, conserves waste, and makes the entire process more efficient. You might think SpaceX's Falcon 9 is the golden goose laying those lucrative launch eggs for Elon Musk, but plot twist, in 2023, SpaceX's launch prices were as varied as Elon Musk's eccentric mood swings ranging from a freebie to a cool $260 million depending on the mission's mood. Now, government gigs usually come with a heftier price tag, not just because Uncle Sam has deep rockets and a money printer no less, but also because there's more paperwork than stars in the Milky Way. And if there are astronauts on board, the price shoots up faster than a rocket on re-entry. But here's the kicker. Launching their own Starlink satellites didn't add a dime to SpaceX's piggy bank. In fact, it was the biggest non-earner with a revenue of around zero dollars. Yet, the big reveal, and possibly the worst kept secret in the cosmos, is that space launches are now just a side hustle for SpaceX. The crown jewel, Starlink. With its constellation of satellites beaming internet across the globe, Starlink has rocketed to success. It's now in over 70 countries, with more than 2.2 million subscribers surfing the space waves. And with a stellar 4.2 billion in 2023 revenue, Starlink has officially become SpaceX's main moneymaker. So 2023 was the year of Starlink, outshining even the brightest stars in SpaceX's galaxy. SpaceX has been making ways not just in space, but in the rocket launch market with their prices that are out of this world, or rather, down to Earth. They're so affordable that European competitors are crying over spilled rocket fuel, claiming SpaceX is sending them into a business black hole. Meanwhile, the American United Launch Alliance is slashing prices like a clearance sale just to keep up. Falcon 9's frequent flyers are mostly Starlink satellites, which are like the VIP passengers of space bringing in the big bucks. And if SpaceX starts using their shiny new Starship as a space Uber for these starry-eyed satellites, the cash flow will go supernova. With Starship's roomy trunk that can haul satellites, they can haul satellites by the dozens, upgrading the internet in space like it's getting a cosmic Wi-Fi booster. Astrophysicist and satellite expert Jonathan McDowell tells us there are already 5,800 satellites in low Earth orbit, but SpaceX is planning a space block party with up to 42,000 more. Their latest Falcon launch wasn't just another day at the office, it was laying the foundation for the Starlink mega constellation. It's been a journey of epic proportions, with each leap and bound by SpaceX setting new records like they're going out of style. As a SpaceX enthusiast, I can't help but see the Falcon 9 as more than just a rocket. It's a symbol of modernity and dreams. Let us know of your reviews in the comments section below. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on the space progress. Until next time, ciao!